Ash Earth and I'm Bruce and today is February 22nd 2023 National Wildlife Day. Our word of the week is empathy and you're watching Garner Newman News, News Network. Network. Hi, my name is Brandon here, and today is National Wildlife Day. Celebrate on February the 22nd. It is also the crocodile hunter Steve Aaron's birthday. He died on September 4th, 2006, as a result of being stung in the chest by a stingray. Aaron was a champion for animal rights and a conservationist who helped ensure many natural habitats are protected. Let's go back to, to Bruce and Ashton in the studio. Hey Mustangs, it's Kaylee. President's Day is a holiday that has become an occasion to celebrate the birthdays of both President George Washington and President Abraham Lincoln. Many Americans call the holiday President's Day. George Washington was born on February 22, 1732 on his father's tobacco plantation in Colonnan, Virginia. See you Mustangs, back to the studio. Hello Mustang, my name is Nikhil, here with your weather for the rest of the week. Today will be stormy this morning, but sunny skies in the afternoon. The high will be 78 degrees and the low will be 64. Tomorrow the high will be 80 and the low will be 64 with AM showers. Friday the high will be 72 and the low will be 57 and some more AM showers. Let's send it to Sanaya and Quinn for more about the weather. And I'm Sanaya. And I'm Isaiah with our tornado report that happened on Friday. The tornado happened at 4 30 a.m. Many people didn't even realize it was even a tornado. This is Troop County's second tornado we have had in just over a month, with the last one ripping through Lexington Park on January 12th. Stay away and stay safe, Mustangs. Back to Bruce and Ash in the studio. Hi, Mr. Moat. My name is Alex. I'm going to ask you a few questions about when you were in sixth grade. What was your sixth grade experience like? What was your favorite class then? Thank you, Mr. Moat. Back to the studio. Hey there. I am Mr. Moat. I am the sixth grade assistant principal registrar at Gardner Newman Middle School. And when I was in sixth grade, I did not have all the different classes and courses that you guys had. We just had math, language, art, science, and social studies. PE and art, and we had to take those all year long. We did not get to change every nine weeks to possible different classes. Of course, one of my favorite was PE. We got to go outside and play on the football field, played soccer, kickball, dodgeball. So I had those times, but I also really enjoyed my language arts class. I had an excellent teacher. Uh, she made everything very kid friendly for me so that I understood and I knew exactly what was expected of me. So those are some of the things that I remember from sixth grade. Thank you so much and go Mustangs. Hey Mustangs, our first week of the baseball season has ended. We ended two and three. In our first game, we went over to Central Carrollton and lost. On a good note, Riley hit a home run. Let's send it over to him. Who am I here with today? Riley. How do you feel when you hit that home run against Central Carrollton? I feel great and unexpected. Thank you. On Tuesday, we played Pike at Shuford Fields and won that game four to three. We weren't doing too good until Brady came in and pitched and shut them out. Then, then to end the game, Landon hit a walk-off single. We went to Callaway and won nine to zero. On Tuesday, we went to Calvary Christian and lost four to five, but put up a good fight. Back to the stage. Hey Mustangs, I'm here with- Coach Kissing here, soccer coach. And today we'll be asking him some questions. Coach K, how do you feel like the first match went? I, I slept well last night. We started off the season very strong. We went and conquered a win and on an away game against Burke County. So today we have Callaway, a rival game. We just got to take one game at a time. 
How, what are your expectations for the new season? Well, um, I don't like to put an expectation. Of course, I like to win championships. I don't like to win games, but I like to take it one game at a time. Pancakes or waffles? <laughs> hey, y'all, my name is Z. Today, we will interview with Ms. Buchanan. Today's questions are, how have you been this past week? I've had a really great week, and I've been great this week. We got to see a lot of things, uh, so it's just been pretty awesome. Are you ready for ready for football? I'm so ready for football season. What do you get for Valentine's Day? Uh, I got some flowers and some candy from my husband, and that was really nice. Um, and then I also got some gifts from my Always something exciting happening here at Gardner Newman. Here's a look at our school announcements and current events. How do you feel about this performance? Uh, we're just honored to be invited. We thank Ms. Wisby for putting it together and our orchestra is excited to get to perform. How do you feel this event will, will come along? Well, I really hope it's a time that we all can come together and remember what Black History Month is all about. And I hope the song choices we've made are ones that reflect uh, that, that we respect and honor um, everything that we're playing for. Is anything else going to happen in the orchestra community? Yes, I'm glad you asked. Um, so we actually have a few students who are also participating in an Ethel Kite Black History Month program that will be held on uh, Thursday night at LaGrange College. So we have students involved in that. We also have 24 of our students from 6th through 8th grade who were invited to participate in the first ever Troop County Middle School Honor Orchestra. And I have the symbol up behind me here that shows you this is the 2023 Troop County Middle School Honor Orchestra. And 24 of our classmates here from Gardner Newman are going to be participating in that this weekend, culminating in a performance on Saturday at two at Cowley Auditorium. So most important though, we're looking forward to performing for everyone Friday morning on the Black History Month program. And we thank you for asking us. Thank you so much for your time. Back to the studio. <laughs>
me and Ali squaring off at the biggest place in the mall, Madison Square Garden. During the 15th round, I hit Ali with a devastating left hook that sent him to the canvas. I won that day by unanimous decision. Nothing advances quite as fast as technology. Here's BJ with a look at the new Mac Mini. Hey Mustang, this week modern Mustang technology is the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini is a mighty small desktop computer workstation that can be used for various tasks. It can be used as a traditional desktop computer server or media center. Basically just a Mac top way smaller, crazy to see how far technology has come from. I'm D5. Get ready, my fellow Fortnite fans. Chapter 4 Season 2 is coming on March 10th. It is an additional bonus add-on to Fortnite Chapter 4, which was released back on December 4th. Good luck, gamers. May the battle begin. That's all we have for this week, Mustangs. Don't forget to be respectful, responsible, and, and ready, ready to, to learn. learn.